Hey guys, um, a little short update uh, to let you know that I did sell some uh, altcoins recently uh, and uh, I have uh, raised my exposure to Bitcoin uh, to uh, 15%. It was almost 0% three months ago uh, when I made the video that uh, I sold them all for altcoins. But now uh, since that altcoins have gone up so much versus Bitcoin, um, I think it's a good time to take some money off the table. Um, and I also raised my non-crypto um, investments. I invest some more in, uh, in, uh, in precious metals, but this time not gold, but uh, platinum and rhodium. Actually, I still have to do it, but that's, uh, that's been arranged. Uh, but still, <sighs> I have to say it's only like it was 10%. Now it's 15% uh, non-crypto investments. Uh, Bitcoin now 15% that means there's still 70% left in altcoins that's a very high exposure I think myself too um, I'm a little bit scared uh, actually uh, but um, I think um, I think it's uh, it's not uh, the right time yet to sell uh, altcoins uh, for Bitcoin and other investments um, even though they have gone up a lot uh, my bags, NXT, Ardor and Clum ha are quite big bags of me and um, they haven't done that much yet. Uh, so, so I think at the end of the bubble, um, well, everything will go up and my bags should go up also considerably. So I'm holding out for that. Um, but um, yeah, I did sell quite a big piece of my... Uh, a Frank's portfolio that I'm following uh, because Decret uh, did go up a lot there so 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 it's with those and I also reduced my my exposures to Monero I did raise my exposure a little bit in the past few weeks to 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 bite ball and also to Zcash but um, but mostly I paid uh, I like I got my Bitcoin uh, bitcoins and uh, like I paid for my bitcoins from uh, from taking money off the table of Frank's portfolio and also of um, uh, yeah mostly of that uh, so yeah uh, be because I think um, when you have a big hit uh, like uh, with decret uh, went up times um, 15 versus Bitcoin that's amazing uh, you have to really like profit from that and cash out quite strongly um, uh, but still uh, it's actually not that strong only sold about 30% um, maybe 35% of my decret position there uh, and so so I have still 60% or so of my decret position that's a lot uh, but but I like to follow the lead of Frank there and um, and and he thinks uh, as some others do that Decrypt still has another leg up. Frank also thinks that just the altcoin market in general has another leg up, and and I wouldn't be surprised of that myself. Uh, that's why that's why I'm still at seventy percent in altcoins, um, uh, because Bitcoin. Um, yeah, uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, uh, it has a big problem. Uh, and, and the best thing that can happen for it is that it forks into two coins or that a compromise is, fo compromise is found. But the way it has really gone is that basically the Bitcoin core devs had all the power, uh, but the miners didn't follow them the past year, two years. And so SegWit never got approved. And then you had different trials of other projects like Bitcoin Classic, first uh, by Gavin and Dresen, and and then later you had, well, you also have the project of of, of, of um, Olivier Janssen's. Um, what's the name of that? Is it also Bitcoin Classic or another name? I don't. I forgot. But that's all. That's just a fork. Uh, uh, but Bitcoin Classic as Bitcoin Unlimited is uh, is actually um, they try to really 
get the miners appro- uh, they they are fighting for 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 le- for the leadership of bitcoin itself and they are, don't want to fork uh, and that's why um uh, nothing's happening not right now because Bitcoin Unlimited team could just fork Bitcoin and start their own coin called Bitcoin Unlimited and and but they don't want to do that. They want to um, convince the miners that um, the miners should really choose for Bitcoin Unlimited and so they don't want to start another coin. They want to take over the current Bitcoin and uh, and so but they have gained a lot of traction. They got about forty percent of the miner support and so that's new as the first time that an alternative um, proposal gets so much traction among miners and at the same time segwit has really not really uh, gained much more minor um, well maybe it has gained some but it's about the same support so so I think we're still we're still not to a resolution there and and, and I don't think I don't think um, neither party is ready to basically leave the project and start a fork. Eh? And, and so, uh, due to that, um, nothing will change with Bitcoin, the, the fees will continue to go up and, and so new money will continue to flow to altcoins for the time being. Um, of course, indeed, as a, as a commenter on the previous video said very, very uh, correctly, is that everything goes in cycles. And now the cycle clearly has been in the favor of altcoins, and but that will come to an end. That's true, but it makes a huge difference in your performance of your portfolio to time the top right. Eh? And because when you sell too soon and you see it double, triple, quadruple again after you sold, well, you realize that you were too soon, and 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 it makes a big difference. So it's very important to put a lot of energy into estimating this as right as possible so what I'm seeing happening in in, in the cryptocurrency world is that basically we are we are in a new bubble but Bitcoin is not part of it and and so many new many altcoins are at all-time highs uh, five times higher uh, 10 times higher um, but um, is this the end um, typically at the end of the bubble everything everything goes up a lot eh? and actually everything and and actually these the things that like at the end shit coins will go up a lot but even more than the quality coins that's typical to the end of a bubble it was similar in it's similar in in, in real world assets like the stock market the dot com bubble for example or uh, precious metal stocks and you will see that at the end the the, the even dot com companies that have totally no like no real business at all eh? and uh, they are basically just scammers uh, launching a stock uh, well, these, even those things will go up many, many, many fold. So rational, irrational exuberance is is what you're looking for to to before a bubble is finished. And and I've always believed that cryptocurrency, since it's su- such a big new market, very similar to computers in the 80s or. Uh, dot com uh, the internet internet companies in the 90s well cryptocurrency is really of the same actually it's higher it's it's really a very big deal and so I think it is very very likely we will get a very big bubble um, and so this goes in cycles um, uh, but I think that this this bubble this this altcoin bubble can go a lot higher it can go so high that people will really share the opinion with each other that Bitcoin is dumb that's that that's like that they lost leadership and that there is no chance that they will come back Um, uh, and people in the media in the mass media will talk about other coins than Bitcoin Uh, and so 
we're not there yet uh, uh, Bitcoin is still at 66% market dominance and um, and, and, and many people still believe that um, Bitcoin um, well it's just the fact that Bitcoin is still by far the leader in this market uh, and so um, and, and nobody in the mass media is talking about anything other than Bitcoin they are not even talking about Bitcoin at this point uh, because Bitcoin is not in a new bubble and hence they are not talking about the altcoins either um, uh, so I think we will get all that uh, but we might get it the next few months um, and, and so that means that altcoins will go up a lot and finally Bitcoin will follow into a new bubble but the attention will be on on some of the altcoins that have gone up tremendously so that's why I'm still 70% into um, altcoins um, and, and, and something else that I'm uh, very very proud to say is that my average returns since 2009 I know uh, no sorry eight at uh, the start of 2008 I'm keeping track of my portfolio uh, and uh, it's been uh, now 22% per year expressed in euros and after um, paying for my living expenses uh, so that's about uh, 540% uh, that, uh, that uh, the, the returns I have on my capital after living expenses that is an amazing performance uh, of course and, and that's what really scares me because I know that well partly I've been lucky um, and and also that when you have such returns you should really consider to just leave the scene altogether uh, because those returns are very rare and um, and um, very likely you will get a massive correction uh, in your returns so 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 that's why I am scared to have this much into altcoins uh, because um, because it can all fail still um, and even if it succeeds it can first correct strongly so nothing is definitive I can change my mind the next five minutes and start selling altcoins en masse but uh, for now uh, that's the situation so um, yeah I hope it helps you guys in taking your own decisions um, and um, yeah, looking forward to read your comments and uh, also love to hear what you guys are buying or selling these days.